Hello, and welcome back to another OMC2 adventure. Today, we are on Scumfork 2020 map, and we are on the latest Studio Polygon DLC, The Renown. And we're using the stagecoach livery that come with the bus, and uh, very beautiful it is too. And today, we're going to be testing out The Renown on a long council estate drive. So this is the Route 1 Ashby. And it's quite a long route. I might put my foot down in certain parts so it doesn't take an hour <laughs> just for the video. But this bus, my word, it's superb. The level of detail. I mean, let's have a little look inside at the various cameras and go through and have a look. You will agree that superb job Studio Polygon did with this bus. Absolutely stunning. Attention to detail, superb. Anyway, let's uh, get down to business. Let's get this girl started up. Put her in neutral. <laughs> Attacks us or spits on us. So <laughs> the window a little bit. I've already got the lights and stuff on. Let's uh, put the markers on. Set the time properly. Just over a minute till we depart. Stand C. I don't know why, but the uh, lines don't seem to be working for this particular renown on Scumfork. It was working fine on West Country, but must be an update or something that's due. Or if I'm missing a trick, let me know in the comments. But um, it's all work, work anyway, because people are wanting to get on. So that's everyone that's going to get on for this stop by the look of it. So I've got the Toby Eye Tracker on, which I'm using for the head tracking. You can see my frames on the top left. And I've also got the Auxi plugin, just for uh, shits and giggles. <laughs> right, we're going to head out. Let's take this old girl around a tour of Scumfall. in front of us. Francis Street. We don't want to be stuck behind a bus if we can help it. Just want to get out as well. Yeah, beautiful bus, attention to detail, love it. Again, superb job to the uh, devs at Studio Polygon. From all accounts, they are young 
college lads. So fair play to them. If you can earn a few bob doing good work like this, all power to you. And fair play. If you're wondering if my game looks a little bit nice and colourful and pops and looks sharp because I'm using a reshade. So we used to use sweet effects and all that sort of stuff, but I thought oh, I'll use reshade. Got more control over it in my opinion. Yes, yeah, come forth an old map. Now. Britannia but, Hotel. Um, it's one of my favourite long routes to drive because it's a proper all through the rat race housing estate type of uh, route, you know? It's quite long. Lots of twists and turns. There's no one here, but I'm just going to stop. So we are. A little bit early, 10 seconds, just in case someone does spawn in. Oswald Road. If you're a new viewer to my channel, I'd be honoured if you uh, hit the like and subscribe, especially if you're an OMSI fan and bus lover and all things driving simulation, you're in the right place. And also, without blowing my own trumpet. As you can see, I get good, smooth performance on OMSI. I have a quite a good rig. I've got the uh, Intel i9. Oswald Road forward slash museum. Sharp lady. 12900K processor, running at 5 gigahertz. Got a 3080 Ti EVGA graphics card. And DDR5. Oh, sorry about yammering away. Yeah, DDR5 RAM 32 gig running at 5200 on the speed. 
even though obviously only uses four gigabyte of a patch. Jackson's the AI life in this game, they're crazy. So yeah, if you like to watch Omsi nice and smooth and not a slideshow, <laughs> then join my channel and come along for the ride. So I'm doing the old camera job today and I've also got a camera set up on my wheel. So Work Lee House Hotel. Frauding home up, school. No passengers. Yeah, it's auxies, all right, for the old announcers, especially if you're driving a bus that doesn't have announcements. It's quite clear on the old time table there. It tells you if you're early or late. Now, I know we've got that in game when you push shift in Z or shift in Y, but it's like your red train test. street. Readable a lot of the time, and I'm getting older. As you can see, I'm wearing glasses. I don't normally wear glasses, but I've hit 42, and my eyesight's buggered. <laughs> don't know what's happening. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite a nice map. This it's all twists, and turns. Avon Road. Proper housing estates. Come on. Better stop. Someone wants to get off. Kenilworth Road. Yeah, we're a minute and a half early for our stop. We're keep going. We might have to take a little break in a minute in the next major stop. The Lilacs. Lilacs to you too. Come on, pal. Jesus Christ. A bit late with the old indicator there, isn't ya? We'll keep it at 25 going through these little estates if I can. The trick is not to be too fast. Well, we're going round the roundabout. Wally -E Drive. I haven't got collisions on. Mind you, I don't think any of us use collisions. Even with my computer, it's worth keeping them off because of the old the way it just hampers the performance. I mean, it's Morley just a House. terribly unoptimized game. 
and I'll crowd just to get it sat at 60 FPS plus, you know. But I also am in 1440p. So if I was to drop it to 1080, Christ, I'd be at 120 on the frames. Nice block of flats over there. Typical housing estate of Britain. We're up at a block of flats like that. Let's have a sip of the old tea. Notice when I picked my cup up, then it interferes look, with the eye tracking. But um, if you keep your hands on the wheel, it's absolutely fine. Well, we're not going to sit here for a minute and a half, we're just going to roll on out. If we, uh, if we finish the route early, which we will, the open heart. About having fun, having a drive, and dropping off pensioners around a UK council estate. Should have, should have stopped there. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry, lady. Queen's View Crescent. Yeah, we're on 70, 71 FPS at the minute. Not bad. Also, this renowned bus actually does hamper the frames, I've noticed as well. I mean, if I was driving a basic place. TL. Be sat at 120 FPS. But there's a lot to render with this bus, so it will drop your frames. A little word warning there. Lakeside, we're going via Lakeside. And yeah, we're currently three minutes early. Bellingham Road Shops. But if only they could make some of these grass textures look a bit less flat. The game would look alright. It's got its own charm, hasn't it? I mean, these are proper British Bird houses. Road. It's just like driving through any sort of town's estates, you know, which I love. I was going to drive West Country, but that's the best map, UK map, I'd say, in terms of the way it looks. But uh, everyone's doing that in a minute. And I'm personally waiting for the update to West Country to get the extra routes. And also, our colour. Lakeside. That'll be a great map when it releases. Oh, and Gainsborough, Phase 4. Looking forward to that very much. Gainsborough is a great map. Good fun to drive. Go on, girl. Start driving without route markers soon, I think, because a lot of these routes I actually know where I'm going now because I've driven them so much, you know. As I'm sure a lot of you guys watching have. We'll 
Donald was ahead. Gross, these two want to get run over, don't they? Ladies. Shame it doesn't move. I'd love to see moving parts, but uh, obviously wouldn't get a hand with that. Big swing of tea. Puff on the vape. Let's head out. Ville Road. Steering wheel I'm using, if I haven't mentioned, is the old trusty Logitech G29 with the shifter. I didn't see which way I've got to go. Left and right. Comet over there. I used to work for them many years ago. I don't think they exist anymore. Hornsby Depot. Depot. 
over there. Obviously, we're stagecoach, so they are the enemy. Sunshine Hall. Sunshine Hall coming up. Named appropriately because it looks like an old folks home. You see it there on the right. Look at that. Typical old people's home. I'm gonna stop it. We've got a stop request. If it's an old person getting off. Okay. Errol. Alright, Errol, mate. Oh, Ashby Aldi. What about bloody four roundabouts to contend with now? Lady wants to get on. This is Aldi's. Yep. I've got the ticket selling off. I, I don't enjoy that part of it. You know, I'm just trying to have a nice chill drive. It's bad enough stopping the bus just to let people on, you know? <laughs> Every two seconds. Broadway. Broadway, that should be a row of shops in the town centre. We'll soon find out. Yeah, beautiful old bus to thrash about this. Yeah, it's got some really nice parts to scum for. It really does feel like a British map. I say West Country's the best, but I think this is a close runner up. This has the longest route, in my opinion. It's longer than the route 35 on West Country. Yorkshire's alright, and that's a payware map, but it's the same about it. I don't like I like add on London, that's pretty cool. If you wanna night drive, a rainy night drive, that's pretty fun. Pimlico is a great map. Victoria Road. Hertfordshire, Strathshire, they're both old now, but they're still quite good. And of course, Gainsborough's class. Getting on love. No, we're stuck in the floor. Right. Cam Hung. <laughs> Ashby Turn. Oh yeah, all these red lights. Frames are holding up nicely. 
staying around 60 fps plus mark occasional little dip i think that's where we load in different tiles but this old head tracker uh, i couldn't live without this i could even zoom in see that i could lean in and the added advantage in using the toby eye tracker is i don't have to wear a hat or sticker three point led tracker to my headphones it's just just move my head now you have to use another app called track no ir noir to make the eye tracker work with obviously it just basically tells obviously that the eye trackers a track ir device and i've disabled the eye tracking part and just left the head tracking part on messing home road Rochdale Road. Go right here. Already three minutes early in the minute. It's Peacock not too Street. Bad. through these windy estates. We don't want to be running the green over. and a puff, that's the driver's prerogative. See the camera spazzing out because I'm putting stuff in front of the eye tracker. Even with glasses, it works pretty well. My eye tracker from CEX, second hand. A C grade, 100 quid, or 90 quid, something like that. It's the Troby, uh, Toby eye tracker 5C. Irby Road. And do you know what? It turned up, it was brand new, in my opinion. Even though it was a C grade, I couldn't see anything wrong with it. And it worked straight out of the box. It took me two seconds to calibrate it using the software. And that was that. It works natively in American truck, in Euro truck, absolutely fine. But I find I do turn off the Spilsby eye Road. tracking part because it's a little bit weird. I, I, I am used to head tracking. I was using track IR. Malay or South School. So I just wanted a way of doing it without putting on that LED three point tracker and repeatedly charging batteries. I just wanted to sit here and move my head, you know, without worrying about hats and trackers and all that stuff. Thorisby Road. For five minutes early now. Enderby Road. Oh, wow. Well. Well, 
one good thing with this renowned DLC. One of the giveaways that comes in the pack is a first bus livery, but it's for Southampton, where I come from. And it's the Route 8 that goes through Thornhill to Shirley Meredith to Avenue. Town Centre. It's brilliant. Absolutely spot on. If only we had a Southampton map. I would be as happy as a pig in you know what. smooth performance and drive at the moment. Swinburne Road. see me about other channels for Omsi that much. The Desert I do Rat watch Hotel. Joe Dobson now and again. We've actually got the same sort of spec computer. So I know he can run this extremely well. But without sounding rude, a lot of the channels that I watch. And I've been there. Obviously they run it and upload it. Looks like a slideshow. Uh, not to say that they've got crap computers, even though they have. <laughs> it, it, it's just OMSI. Sunstable Road. A weird game to get running. But I've been there, I've played this. When it first came out about eight years ago on a crappy old laptop that I had laying around. And I think I was playing it in like 10 to 15 FPS. Put me close. You know what I mean? So I've been there. But it's just a pleasure to be able to brute force this game. And I don't see many people on YouTube that actually manage to Parkwood play Road. and capture Obviously, smooth. Like, look at the minute, I'm getting 70, 70 odd FPS. And I know OBS is capturing it really smooth. Because I'm using lossless quality. So I'm doing what Parkwood I can School. to show to you guys just how smooth OMSI can be. We're going to stop. So yeah, if you like the car buckle off and you want to watch OMSI the Ultra 1440p, then give me a sub. And leave a comment, because I'll always reply to you. Do you know what I mean? I'm up for meeting new OMSI enthusiasts. You won't catch me in like discords because I'm quite a private gamer. Plus, I'm older bloke, 42. I actually joined Joe Dobson's Discord about a month ago, but I left it really quick because Weymouth Crescent. This is no offence to anyone, but like I say, I'm 42 and I felt out of place because they're all young, they're all kids. And I've got teenage boys, three of them. So <laughs> when I game, I like to escape and, you know. So if you are a younger guy watching this, don't let that put you off because you'll be older 
one day, you will understand exactly what I'm on about. Because I'm not your typical bus nerd. I'm more driving enthusiast. Viaduct. But I do love the buses. Obviously, my father was a bus driver, and I've made a bus series for OMC called The Bus My Father Drove. And it was the Leyland Atlantic, and that's what my channel is named after. So I've done about six videos where I manually drive the uh, Leyland Atlantic with manual shift. So, yeah, I grew up on the buses down in Southampton, Portswood Depot, Shirley Depot, before it got took down. And I've been on all sorts of buses as a kid. As my dad drove, I would stand there in the front next to him. Different times back in the 80s and early 90s. Notch Road. school holidays. Minster Road Day or Centre. Maybe sometimes we just if I was throwing a sickie off school, I'd have to go to work with the old man. Been on the old proper route masters and everything. Olympians darts. Field Court. But my favourite old bus is the Leyland Atlantic. That's my childhood bus. I'm sure it is for a lot of people by age and older, because those things were around in the 70s. And I'm an 80s kid. Rolls Road Centre. Yeah, I like to Tesco talk Supermarket more about various things or some driving just to let you know the insight to my life, who I am, what I'm about. I'm also a musician. Guitar player, composed you know, music. Used to be in a band years ago, but don't do all that no more. Because I have a wife with MS to look after. I've got three boys at home. And I've also got a spinal injury, which I had years ago at work. And uh, so I've been written off. Tesco's here. Yeah, we are. I'm starting to drive like a bit of a maniac at the moment. I've noticed I'm going a bit fast. <laughs> Barclay Circle. I do like 
hammering these beasts around. But, uh, <laughs> listening to the rattle. Tesco Supermarket. Look, look, the bus is doing a kangaroo. Barclay Circle. Yep, she's definitely had a good thrashing on this route so far. I think you will agree. Obviously, I've got my wheel cam just above me, so you can see the action on the wheel. Possibly coming up to the end of the route. Collinson Avenue. Now, if I was doing this more professionally and not recording and talking to you guys, I would have chilled a bit more and waited at each stop. Newland Avenue. No one wants to watch a video where you sat at a bus stop looking at your timetable for five minutes, do they? You know. How you Race now to get back Hospital. to the bus stands. Not far away now. A great route, isn't it? It's just proper council estate drives. Iriholm Crescent. There we go. Bit of a loading stutter in lag. Exeter Road. Right, someone wants to get off. Mary Street. I'll put links to this bus to Studio Polygon site in the uh, description. It is 18 quid. I think it's worth it. It's a good bus. Would have been nice if it was 13 quid, like the rest of their buses, but it is what it is. Funny thing about OMC, it's quite dear with this DLC, isn't it? You know? If I just took a long turn. Have, haven't I? We're going to have to turn around here and get all that. Smash through that bush. Got to go right. 
Let's hope I'm going the right way. Still, we're 17 minutes early for the next stop, so not a problem. the law and I won. Let's put our foot down and see what this girl can do. <laughs> In the wrong lane, everything. Started off so well, <laughs> and now I'm just in a rush. I don't want an hour's long video, none of you watch it anyway. What bloody hell's happened here? We've run out of memory. <laughs> oh, I can't move the bus. I've already drove this route once before I hit record and it was fine. And now we've got this. Oh well, it's a comical end to the video. I know why it's done it. It's just run out of memory. I'm on my second route, you see. Oh well. That's a waste. If you like the video, hit the subscribe and the like. Take care of yourself. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.